Good morning, Iceland. Good morning, Glow. Good morning, Reykjavik. Honey LeBronx here, aka the vegan drag queen. And I'm happy to tell you that I will be taking over Glow on Leugaveger as the guest chef tomorrow night. So right now, I'm on my way down to Glow to uh, start doing some cooking for tomorrow night. Uh, you can come by tomorrow night and start tasting my menu at 6 o'clock p.m. I'll cook on Altion. I'll cook on Altion. But first, I'm off to get a coffee because I'm just waking up for the day. Here we are on Klapastigur. I just stopped here at Helsehusil to get a few last minute ingredients. And some energy bars. And now, here we go. Okay, so I'm here backstage at Glow on Lagerbeger, and I've got my recipes ready to go. And the hardest part so far is figuring out how to take nine servings of food and make that enough to feed 60 people. So thank God I paid attention in math class. I also, uh, last minute, I decided I wanted to change the recipe a little bit to change the texture of the seitan. So it's a really good thing I paid such close attention in math class. By the way, for everyone asking uh, if they should make reservations, I don't, I don't know, but probably yeah. So I'm getting ready to make my seitan. So, so far I've got the pinto beans here, the chickpea flour, nutritional yeast, and gluten in here. I'm not going to give a proper cooking tutorial on this snap, but I am going to show you things just a little bit. When I think it's something's pretty, I'll show you. To my beans, I'm adding about 100 milliliters of lemon zest, or lemon rind. Instead of properly zesting the lemon, I'm just kind of peeling it, because I'm just going to throw it in a, in a blender anyway. Okay, so I've been cooking for a very long time. Um, I don't do things fast, but I do them right. This is the lemon zest and olive oil and soy sauce and garlic and vegetable broth and pinto beans all blended together. And this is a mixture of vital wheat gluten, nutritional yeast, and chickpea flour. But it's mostly gluten. And now is that very magical, very exciting moment when we mix them together. Now it's important to just add a little bit of the dry ingredients at a time, and then you want to mix them in, then add more dry, then keep mixing. Pretty soon, this is going to turn into meat. Good vegan meat. Now after a while, you'll see it starts to get really thick and really hard to stir. That's because it's starting to turn into meat. Okay, see how thick and pasty that is? It's time to add the last bit of gluten. In this one, we're going to have to mix by hand. It's getting hard to do this with one hand, so I'm going to put the phone down for a minute. <sighs> I don't know if you can see, I'm like, I'm sweating. This is really tough. So this is it. One giant batch of uncooked seitan. This stuff has as much protein as beef steak, but no cholesterol and very little fat. Maybe no fat. Okay, I don't know how long that took me, but I just fi finished making 120 of these, 120 seitan cutlets. Look at that 
Does that not look beautiful? I'm going to press these into little seitan cutlets like this, and then I'm going to roast them in the oven in some vegetable broth for about an hour. I've got to run for now because my friends Anna and Ilva are waiting for me here at Glow for dinner. So I'm going to put these in the oven, go have dinner, and then... Uh... Also, I don't have great internet service out here on my phone, so a lot of my snaps say that they haven't posted yet. So I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi and try to post everything from today. Sorry if it hasn't all posted yet. All right, it's an hour and a half later. I got the chance to sit down and have something to eat with my friends Anna and Ilva. And now, let's show you the seitan. Here it is. Come and get it. Tomorrow at Glow, homemade seitan. How good is that? I'm going to cut into some just to let you see. Look at this. It's like tender white meat chicken. Mm. No big deal. It's just three in the morning and I am the last person at Glow Restaurant on Leugerweger. And I am leaving the restaurant and locking up and setting the alarm <laughs> after making frosting for about three hours. Good morning, downtown Reykjavik. Honey LeBronx here. Look at Halkomskirkja. Look at you, Halkomskirkja. You look amazing. So I am on my way to uh, Glow at Leugavega. And uh, I was there very late last night making chocolate frosting and strawberry frosting by hand. It was a very... Um, what was I going to say? I made a lot of frosting. I think I made more frosting than I have cupcakes. Uh, but we'll, uh, but we'll see. So there's going to be a lot of cupcakes today. They're going to be um, a banana. What? What? I'm, I'm Snapchatting here. Straito. Um, rude. Rude. Anyway. Um, so I'm going to have a bunch of uh, vanilla banana cupcakes with uh, strawberry frosting or chocolate frosting. And it's a uh, chocolate um, cream cheese butter So it's a buttercream frosting. Cream cheese, butter, vanilla, all vegan. Um, and uh, lots of powder. Anyway, you're going to love it. So um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to run down there. I'm going to grab a little something to eat on my way, and um, I'll see you at Glow. By the way, by now, all of my Snapchat stories is uploaded. Um, I'm sorry that it wasn't uploading earlier, um, but now I have Wi-Fi. And anyway, it was, I had a really bad connection, so if you watched my Snapchat story yesterday, um, it was only like a few of my videos were going up, so it might not have made as much sense. But by now, everything's up. Hey Glo, Honey in the Bronx here. We are definitely cooking on drag time tonight, so we are running maybe 30 minutes late. So if you're here for the honey So if you are here for the Honey in the Bronx dinner, I'd say just hang tight, grab a drink, be patient, or come back at 6.45 or 7 and you'll be fed. Okay Glo, it's time. Come get it. So that happened. The day is done. Um, the fact that I'm sitting at a table right now means I cooked everything and it happened and I, I, I did the thing. The thing happened. It's done. How was everything? Did everyone enjoy it? Fantastic. Everything was good. Yes. Excellent. Amazing. Yes. I didn't like it. No, just kidding. <laughs> I never cared for him. Actually, I just need to say, he is allergic to white wine and red wine, so he could not try the food, but you had the cupcake. How was the cupcake? It was very good. Very sweet. Very good. The cupcake he finished. I finished. So he liked it. agony. Alright, get out of my <laughs> I've always wondered what I would look like as a chef who's just getting off from a full day of running a kitchen. This is what I look like. 
I can, I can honestly say I think I look like hell right now, but I did it. I did it. I, uh, <laughs> I was just chef for a day at Glow. I feel like I just made it through some sort of like academy or something, and um, it was really awesome. It was a really great day. I just want to say thank you to everyone at Glow for having me and trusting in me and um, and just supporting me and truly making today, without exaggeration, one of the greatest days of my life ever. I mean, this was. At the end of my life, I will look back at this day as being um, just a truly awesome day. Uh, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. And uh, it was like being on a reality show. Uh, there were certain moments where it was like, oh, you have this much time before this happens. But I had so much fun today. And just being a part of this team was really awesome. I want to say thank you to everyone who came out tonight. Um, all my friends who showed up and had a great meal. And... Um, yeah, other than that, I'm signing off uh, so you guys can follow me at Honey LeBronx on Snapchat. I gotta say, I rarely Snapchat, so please follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, you can like my uh, page on Facebook, The Vegan Drag Queen on Facebook. Um, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I, am, I am Honey LeBronx on YouTube a.k.a. The Vegan Dry Queen. And lastly, you can also listen to my podcast, Big Fat Vegan Radio. Just go to BigFatVeganRadio.com. Uh, anywhere that you subscribe to podcasts on Stitcher or iTunes or whatever, Podcatcher or whatever, uh, you can find Big Fat Vegan Radio. Um, I did an episode recently um, called Icelandic Vegans Part 1. So uh, I interviewed two of Iceland's newest vegans, and uh, one of them is right there. And um, I also am doing uh, part two of that episode coming up pretty soon with some awesome vegan movers and shakers in Iceland. So, yeah, um, follow my podcast, Big Fat Vegan Radio, my cooking show, The Vegan Drag Queen, um, and Honey LeBronx on all social media. I love you guys. Thank you.